The senior living industry is an industry built for and around people. That's why developing our team members is a critical element in our strategic vision for the future. By 2034, our population will shift. For the first time in our nation's history, adults will outnumber children. Every day in America, 10,000 people turn 70 years of age. The baby boomers are aging and will put a strain on our nation's ability to provide long-term care, supports, and services. And there simply aren't enough caregivers to serve this growing population of seniors. Something needs to change. Argentum's recently released strategic plan addresses the challenge of developing our people, specifically the caregivers needed to support this demographic shift. We need to attract more than 1.3 million workers to the senior living industry over the next 10 years. Speaking more broadly, senior living, home health, skilled nursing, and the broader direct care workforce will need to attract nearly 9 million workers over the next 10 years. The biggest challenge is that seniors will choose senior living communities based on the offered amenities, lifestyle, and support, not to mention the trust they have in our workers and management. The key to keeping seniors invested in our communities lies in attracting skilled workers and keeping up with seniors' growing needs and expectations. That's why recruiting and retaining workers is a top priority. More specifically though, we'll be expanding the pipeline and retention of qualified and diverse talent to meet the needs of a growing senior population. And while we plan to engage and develop 2 million people to work in our industry over the next 10 years, the first three years of our plan calls for reaching 250,000 potential workers. First and foremost, we will expand and promote career pathways through strategic partnerships culminating in apprenticeships, incumbent worker training, and industry-recognized career pathways. We will leverage grant funding to create strategic partnerships that will allow us to tap into channels reaching 30 million potential workers per year through AmeriCorps, Job Corps centers, American Job Centers, community colleges, and career and technical education schools, all of which will offer industry-recognized career paths to steer workers towards careers in senior living. And we know these pathways can improve retention as well. These same pathways, as seen through our Healthcare Apprenticeship Expansion Program, can invert the retention trend, seeing 80-plus percent retention among our apprentices. Engaging the whole person matters, not only while they're at work, but in their lives too. We can do this by addressing workers' needs from transportation to childcare to housing. Getting to know our people is key. Senior living employees are more likely to be single parents than the U.S. employed labor force. Knowing the struggles our workers face will allow us to create programs to help them stay on the job and engaged with the industry. It is imperative to develop programs for training, offer advancement opportunities, and create support systems to make life easier for our workers outside of work. In short, we need to care for our workers as well as they care for our seniors. But that's not enough. Our efforts must expand beyond our people to the policymakers who control the way we operate our businesses and find workers. We need to advocate for policy solutions that expand our workforce pipeline by ensuring that public resources to develop workers are targeted towards senior living. Currently, millions of dollars in resources are available at the federal and state levels for workforce development, but senior living has not been a priority focus. That is changing, though. With the budget just recently passed, Congress is directing the Department of Labor and Health and Human Services to focus resources on the long-term care workforce needs of the future. These policy solutions also need to address the opportunities we can provide to foreign-born workers. Nearly one-fifth of senior living direct care workers were born outside of the United States and account for 10% of the senior living workforce. And we need to continue to offer those opportunities to refugees and through worker exchange programs and changes to existing visa programs, to name just a few of the opportunities. Developing our people is a critical element in achieving our 10-year vision for the industry. To succeed in this effort, we need your help and engagement. The more members we have, the stronger our collective voice is on Capitol Hill and in the states. I strongly encourage you to take advantage of all of the benefits Argentum membership provides, and remember that every dollar invested at Argentum is reinvested to promote the long-term health and viability of this industry. Join us as we face the future. Work with us to create a stronger senior living experience for all. For more details on how to support senior living through Argentum, Contact Brad Williams or Cindy Bade. Thank you.